worth reviewing. That's what makes the boat cruise pretty popular. It's the only good way to see the lake. Has anybody been on this boat ride? Okay, welcome back. I should give you guys the microphone, right? <laughs> no, I like to ask that because we talk about some of the regional stuff and it can get a sense of uh, where to go with that. I like to talk a little bit about the lake and the mountains, a little bit of local history, and we're going to talk about the best properties along the shoreline. There's about 220 private homes. These are what we call camp city. I don't know that. Now, when I was growing up, a camp was something very simple, small, and rustic, perhaps a log cabin with no running water. However, the property values sure have gone up over the years, so these so-called camps are mostly multi-million dollar summer homes. Especially after the uh, hosted two Winter Olympics in 1932 and 1980, the, the prestige of owning a place on this lake really went up. And as you guys know, all the prices have been rising with all the pandemic stuff going on, too. Most of these are seasonal summer use properties. There's only about 30 that really get used year round. And most of these families that own summer homes are not from the local area. So you'll see a lot of state flags for flags like Texas and Florida and California and stuff like that. We're starting our voyage at the south end of the lake. Way down there to the left is the extreme southern end of the Lake Placid. That's known as Paradox oh, Bay. If you've been driving around the oh, village of Lake Placid and seen the quality in hotel or the McDonald's restaurant, Everybody sees McDonald's eventually, right? That's just off of that end of the lake. So the lake itself, again, about five miles long, two miles at its widest point. It's got a peninsula and three islands that run right up the center of the lake, and that sort of divides the lake into two big paths. Uh, this is the East Lake, which is what we're starting in, and the West Lake is where we're headed for the, uh, probably the first uh, part of the tour over here. Over to the left of us is the Brewster Peninsula. This is a little section of the mainland that sticks up about a half mile into the lake. This has always been some of the premium real estate. They have a southerly exposure, so the sun they're getting right now, they pretty much got all day long. Really nice, mostly level building lots. Very easy road access. Keep in mind, half of the summer homes on the lake don't even have road access. We'll get into that later. And I do like to go into a bit of extra detail on some of these places. Uh, a good one to start with is over here to the left. You see that three-stall brown and white boathouse? This uh -huh. is called Camp Kahuna. It's really big. It goes for about 950 feet of shoreline. And it's about 10 acres. You've got a big boathouse and then another big five-stall boathouse, a big boat dock, one main camp coming into view. 